Good day everyone and welcome to the second game for this day and this game I'm using the Panzer 35T which, T, which is a tier 2 uh, tank and um, I'm with all, all the tanks around me are all from all tier 2 tanks um, and this game uh, at this point uh, in my gaming um, I tend to run off to the right go. side of the um, map here. Uh, it's in later games that I'd change and uh, actually head more to the through the centre or even the far, far left side um, depending from uh, which end I come from and what I feel like doing. Uh, but generally uh, what I do in this one is what I normally do um, in all of the games I was playing uh, in my earlier games and that um, so I usually race up here and uh, take up position at the end of rocks here, uh, hiding behind a bush uh, where I can do some sniping. Um, you know, the downside of this getting into this position is that um, if you want to uh, be able to shoot what's uh, any tanks coming from the left side there, um, you've actually got to stick your nose right out uh, of the bushes. And that sort of thing. It's the only way you can get to get a clear shot across here. Um, but as I come around here, it sort of shows that you've got your nose out. You're actually exposed. So if anybody was directly in front of you, they could actually see you sitting up here and, that, and spot you. So basically, at the moment, I'm sitting here waiting. If you look at the situation map. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, green teammates that are coming along the side of the uh, of the cliff face there in the uh, lake and um, right now I'm waiting to see if any of the red players come show themselves down the back here uh, not too many of the red players are showing up on the map at the moment so I'm not sure where they are there goes the first um, fellow teammate um, he races up to the uh, back end of the um, far right side of the map basically. I'm checking up around the um, red base basically because uh, generally there's one or two that stay up there. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's any up there but uh, nothing's showing up. Um, so at the moment uh, nothing's really uh, happening other than the fact that uh, one green player has already been eliminated um, still most of the red players are not showing up on the map yet uh, so they obviously haven't been spotted uh, a fellow teammate who's off to my right has now uh, put a red player in his sights and is shooting at him he has a quick firing gun um, Just waiting to see whether the red player actually exposes himself at all. Um, and there is another green player just off down off to my left. Um, and, uh, he seems to have parked himself and is staying out of sight at the moment. Um, I'm waiting and hoping for the red player to come down here to try and get a better uh, shot at the fellow teammate. He actually does come down. Uh, we can take a shot at him and take him out. Um, you know, I wait for a bit longer. Um, I think it seems to be showing up. There's the other team mate down there. So I keep waiting to see if anything else shows up. Nothing showing up on the situation map. Um, another red player's gone, so there's two red players gone, three green are gone. Uh, I now, at this point, decide I'm going to move from this position. And go back out. Go over to the right. And, uh, head down towards the water. As I come down this way. I noticed that uh, two more red players have shown up, so I spin around and stop to see if I can get a bead on them. 
unfortunately no, they're down the other side. I can't, I've not got a clear sight at them, so I decided to continue on where I was going before. Head around this way. And um, in later games, I realise I can use this island as a barrier, and if I stay out in the water a bit, my tank is below the, the, uh, the ridge of the island here and cannot be seen and I'm able to actually get right up to the far corner before coming up. And at this point I'm coming across here and uh, it's an M2 up there that's just taken out my fellow teammate that was up there. Uh, so I'm racing up this way. Hopefully they have not spotted me yet. Um, at the moment I'm still blocking the clear. They still haven't seen me. Around to here, I noticed the uh, that red player, the M2, has now gone back around to where I was, so he doesn't know I'm here. I'll come back around to here, I'll see, I'll try and see if I can get a bead on him without having to expose myself. No, no he's too quick. Um, the, uh, these M2s in it, the, these light tanks are really fast and maneuverable. Uh, they're a pain to try and get a bead on. Sat here and waited, to, hopefully hoping that he would come out. He actually did. He come all the way out. I've got a clear shot come of him. On. And that, unfortunately, it was take so long to reload. Um, I was able to get another shot of him. Uh, and uh, with those quick firing cannons, uh, they're good for up close, not so good for long distance. Uh, later on, I uh, changed to a tank that actually uses the quick firing cannons. Quite well, uh, quite effectively actually. Give me another one, uh, quick! I was able to take out his track before I could we you know, the beat on him. Basically fixed his track. Got the damn off. loader load quicker! Uh, well, I am getting whittling him down a bit, but he's moving too fast for me to get a, an accurate beat on him. I can move my camera view onto him, but the turret's not uh, moving as quickly as, as what camera view is. Unfortunately, um, and uh, I've actually given myself away. He knows I'm here. I'm hurt, and I know he knows I'm here. He's coming up to get me. Um, go shot at him. Careful! The ammo damage. may have taken some damage. Um, he's there. Another shot at him. Uh, down to uh, one more shot or one more, one or two more shots. Armor's been actually, pierced. Take him out. He's, he's one trillion. His life thing is right down. But what I should have done when I've gone back out, to here is I should have taken off when he was trying to come around because um, not only was I putting up with him, um, he was able to take me out. I had another red tank coming up on me. So what I should have done when the M2 was coming up around the rocks and he was coming, I should have actually darted down the other side and hit around the rocks on the left hand side there, out of sight. He lost track of me. So, uh, yeah, again, I'm just staying there. Change to this fella. Uh, he's not really thinking too much. He was just sort of spinning around. Uh, he really doesn't know what to do with that. What he should have done is gone close to the rocks there. Get out of sight. He sort of goes down here, then changes his mind, turns around, goes back. Quite indecisive. Uh, his drill costs him dearly, basically. Uh, shortly he'll come back here and you'll find he's up against three uh, red tanks. Uh, there's another red tank, there's another one, and there's the quick firing M2. Unfortunately, um, um, he's taking on looking at these two and he's forgetting about the M2, which has the quick firing gun. Deals him a lot of uh, damage. The M2 has disappeared and uh, is out of his line of sight. And we wonder where he is. Um, as he reverses down here, you will see him hear him taking damage uh, from the quick firing gun of the M2, but you don't see the M2. Uh, this fella, uh, he's hopeless, this guy. 
this particular player. Um, all he does is go round and round and just parks here and sits here and waits. Uh, we're down to three green players. Basically, we've only eliminated four of the red players. And unfortunately, the M2 is now got a bead on this guy. Um, he's done the right, um, right thing here. He's darted down behind the uh, ridge of the hill. So the M2 doesn't have a clear shot at him. He's coming around. Um, but he's noticed that uh, there's a red player off to the to his left, basically. Um, he comes around here. He's uh, looking at the uh, other uh, red player which is shooting at him. Uh, M2 is trying to get around behind him, but he knows he's there. Uh, the track is failing. Some damage from the M2. And he's coming around here to deal with the M2. And, uh, he gets a bead on him. He takes him out. And that eliminates the fellow that actually eliminated me. I like seeing that. My teammates uh, actually are able to take out the player that uh, eliminates me. Uh, he's come back trying to find these good players that are over to the right, left I should say. Got um, some up here. Unfortunately, uh, he's uh, exposed. They're out in the open there. Uh, and he gets eliminated, unfortunately. The downside with the uh, tier 1, tier 2 tanks that they there's no mods for them for putting things like packs and that all over their tanks or anything like that sort of thing. Uh, which is quite a, uh, an unfortunate thing I think. Um, I'd love to see somebody create a mod pack specifically for the uh, tier 1 and 2 tanks so that uh, they've got things like um, for the crew and stuff like that all over the outside of the tank and things like that. Um, we're down, and this is our last fella and as you can see he's parked up, he's not going to do anything. Um, you'll also notice that in uh, most of my games uh, all my tanks have camouflage on them as well as the white kangaroo and the turret. Um, I tend to uh, like to put uh, camouflage patterns onto my tanks. And uh, I'll do it for basically all of the uh, seasons, uh, the normal season, uh, winter and the desert, with the three types of uh, camouflage or that they have sort of thing. Uh, I like to have a camouflage on my tanks for all of them. Uh, it costs a, bit of, a little bit of money but I prefer it that way. As you can see, most of these players uh, haven't bothered with any of that with their tanks. I'm just going to the standard uh, markings and paint that the tanks come with. I kind of like to, to personalize my tanks a little bit. Uh, at the moment, uh, I've got a tier 1 tank that I've been playing with quite a while, and uh, I've got the badges that I've stuck on the front, the back, and uh, the back of the turret. I play that the uh, kills I've been able to uh, rack up and everything like that. And you'll see that later on when it comes uh, if you decide to look at them more in my uh, clips. But this particular fella, as you can see, uh, was left up too little, too late to try and get back and play the hero and uh, protect the base. So uh, that's it. The, the game and say uh, defeat for us basically. So I shall see you all later.